Okay, today I want to talk about short lean adapters. I got a, several of them in the mail the other day and I just want to show you how they are and what they look like. These are different than the, I bought some several years ago and they're, they've upgraded and made them quite a bit better. So I'm going to show the differences there. And for those who don't know, these adapters allow your 12 gauge shotgun to shoot pistol caliber rounds. In this case I have 9mm 45 long Colt and 22. So let's take a look. All right, so the case it comes, well this case I received, they have, they don't come with them necessarily, but it's a zipper on the sides, you got the molly type attachments for the back, the top, the zipper doesn't go all the way to the top, so if you zip it up, it folds over, but it's, there's magnets inside the, the covers, so it stays closed, but it's not a full zipper up top, you can see. All right. Uh, one thing they have improved is they have uh, good instructions with their adapters. This is for the black powder adapter that shoots the two. We use the 209 primer, and this is the instructions for their their pistol adapters. So this is uh, nice. The, when I bought them years ago, it was it was less uh, instructions. All right. So inside the case, you have a elastic loops that can hold all your different sizes from your 8 inch, 5 inch to your 3 inch adapters and then up top this is a Teflon coated black powder adapter and I'll show you how that should do much better as far as the keeping corrosion down. I'll show you my other steel uh, black powder adapter. It corrodes quite easily. So, and then let's just take a look at this 22 the 8 inch 22 adapter so this is the older version. The, the real difference is notice no O-rings here. It is rifled. Where the new one, same eight inch, same length, but it has these two O-rings and I find that is nice to keep it from ejecting when you open up the barrel. So it doesn't want to slide out. These, these long ones won't slide all the way out and fall out on the ground. Uh, but they do move, or these, they don't really move. Uh, especially with these shorter adapters, you have to worry about it falling out when you're uh, reloading the, the adapter itself. So let me show you how that looks in difference. So I have a 12 gauge H&R partner here. So here's the old style. Generally when you load these you want, because the on these rim fires, 22s and 17s, the hole is off center because you're using a center fire gun to shoot a rim fire, so it has to, you can see it off center, so it circles the center fire firing pin, so no matter where it is, it will, it, it will hit the rim on these rim fires. So to be consistent, you want the, basically the, the hole for the, 22 or the 17 to always be in the same spot. So whatever that ends up being, is it 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or whatever works better for your particular situation, you want that always to be the same to be consistent. Consistent makes accuracy. So that's the idea there. On the center fires, the, the hole's in the middle, so it really is less of an issue, even though personally I would always leave in the same position. All right, so it's loaded just to say you want to eject and then you'll see without the o-ring the original version what happens so there's a movement there and if you had a shorter adapter the worry would be it falling out especially with the black powder adapter so here's the new one with the o-rings put that in then you eject it it really doesn't move it moves a little bit but nothing to where I have to worry about it falling out especially that's at an odd angle or something uh, this isn't going to go anywhere. So that is a huge improvement, which I think is worth it. As far as tw the other 22 calibers, they have so the long one is the Pathfinder series, the 8 inch. If you wanted to go to the 5 inch, which might be more practical in some ways, it's quite a bit lighter. And if you had a whole set of these, the 8 inches would add quite a bit of weight. If you wanted to compromise to go to the 5 inch, which is the Bug Out series, it's more like a standard pistol length. Most pistols aren't beyond the five inch anyways. 
to some exceptions, but still. And you still get fairly good accuracy out of it, like pistol level accuracy, without going smooth bore. This is a good option. I almost might prefer these, even though there would be, in theory, some advantage of the 8 inch. You get higher muzzle velocities. It'd be uh, not so much like a pistol, more like a rifle. I think if you're going to have a set of these, the bug outs might be better as far as the weight and the function of it, they're still going to do a good enough job for what you're shooting. You're shooting pistol rounds out of a shotgun, so you're not expecting extreme accuracy or anything. You're not going long range with these. If you look at these, it looks like the rifling is like a sleeve that's pressed into the adapter. So it doesn't look like the actual adapter itself is the rifled. It's almost like they put a sleeve in there. A rifled tube goes inside, so Nothing wrong with that, it's just this is give you an idea of how it's made. Alright, and then you get the 5 inch, and then you have the 3 inch. This is a 3 inch rifled. This is the Zombie series. So you have the Zombie 3 inch, you have the Bug Out 5 inch, and the Pathfinder 8 inch. So it's the same idea. It's just a rifle, just a really short little uh, adapter. You got 3 inches right here. This might be 2.5, the other ones are 3 inches. And the accuracy is still good enough. It's still better than a smoothbore. So we'll try all these out. You can kind of see the differences. We'll shoot little reactive ground targets. And then with the other adapters. They make them in various calibers. In this case, I also received 45 Long Colt 5 inch. Same idea to where I think the rifling might be a pressed in two. Uh, this might actually be machined on these. Not a machine. Yeah, these look machined to me. They don't look like a tube that's been inserted. But this is a 5 inch rifle, so this is the bug out 45 Colt adapter. And then we have the bug out 9mm rifle adapter. They also make them 38, 45 ACP. They're coming out with a 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, 22 Magnum, 17. So they have. So in addition to the pistol calibers, they also have a adapter from a 12 to a 20 gauge, and a 12 to a 410. They also have a series of adapters for 20 gauge shotguns, so you can adapt to your 20 gauge. They might even have any, some for uh, your 410. But I'm just using a 12, so everything's from 12 to whatever. So let's give these a try, and we'll see how they do. See how the three inch. It really does much different at close range than the 5 inch. Alright, I wanted to show you real quick the 209 black powder adapters. So I keep these oiled because these do corrode, especially once you start using that black powder on them. The corrosion is not any damaging, it's just surface like patina, but I don't want it to get out of control. So this is several years old, um, so their design has changed. As you notice, here's the back of it where you put the primer. There's not a cutout or anything, unlike the pistol adapters, so it can make it difficult to get out. You have one O-ring on the base, and you have kind of a large cup area with the flash hole there. You might be able to see it. But the hole is good size. So that's the original, or at least the older version of the 209 black powder adapter. Now they also they make a new one. This is a Teflon coated. Notice the O-ring is to the front. It's not quite as tall, and this little cup area isn't as deep. They make this also on just plain steel. The Teflon's a little bit more money. You have a cut out there, so you can more easily remove that primer. And the Teflon idea would be to reduce corrosion, because you can see the, the patina on this happens quite quick. If you aren't careful, it becomes some serious rust. So, we're gonna I don't have the black powder today, but just showing you the difference between the older steel kind and then the steel that's coated in Teflon to keep down corrosion. Alright, so this is a Rossi 12 gauge single shot shotgun. So I'm just going to show you the process of loading, firing, and unloading just real quick. For those of you who don't know, those of you who do know, this isn't as important. Okay, insert the the adapter is keeping 
the hole in the same orientation as far as the clock face. This is a 12 o'clock position, that's how I like to use mine. You take your 22, you can do shorts or you can do longs. Insert it into the hole, and you close the right the shotgun, pull the hammer back, it's ready to go. So then I'll show you how to unload it real quick. Okay. So it's fired. You break the barrel as if you were gonna unload anything. Now you can see the 22 slightly popped out with that little movement of the adapter. And then you have that cut out. It's easy to remove. You can see the round firing pin on the back of the burn fire. Pretty easy. So let's do that. Let me show you if the target's moving and uh, just the different adapters and just see them in action, okay? Okay, we'll shoot the 8 inch a few times. Okay, let's give the five inch a try. Let's go to the three inch twenty two long rifle adapter. Same idea as the other two. Keep the hole in the same clock position. Earlier I mentioned how the center fire caliber adapters have the hole in the center. And you don't have to worry about which where on the clock that hole is. I would still recommend you stay consistent and have this little groove to the same direction every time just to be consistent with the with the barrel. It's always a good practice. So just wanted to show you that. Let's do the nine millimeter three inch, nine millimeter five inch. Now we're going to shoot the 9mm 5 inch. Alright, 45 long colt 5 inch bug out adapter.
All right, so there's the adapters in action. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you, you learned something and maybe consider giving shortly a try with your shotgun. So the way I see it is there's no reason to really go beyond three if you're just going to use it as a trapping gun and shooting the animals in the trap or just having all the adapters in a relatively small, lightweight package. And this is a rifle adapter. They also make smoothbore three inch. Maybe all you need also. You may not even need the rifling. If you're going to be really up close, it doesn't really make a difference. They call that, I think it's the Scavenger series. And uh, they come in various pistol sizes too, just three inch non-rifle adapter. I've, I have several of those and they work fine for close range. Um, if I was going to buy them all, because I bought those before they had the rifle adapters. I would, I would still lean towards the rifle just to give me every bit of increased uh, accuracy. And the setup I would choose, because I would use it for different uses, I wouldn't really be necessarily just trapping with it. I would use one 8 inch 22 long rifle adapter. This would just give me the more like a, a pistol, a target pistol 22 type performance. So I'd get decent velocity and, and better potential accuracy. And then for the rest of the calibers, I would go with the five inch, just because I'm not gonna be hunting with them. I'm not gonna be shooting uh, targets that necessarily matter all the time, unlike with the eight inch. I would just have these just to, the five inches, just to give me a better option for different calibers I can shoot out of the shotgun for any future ammo shortages or ammo banning or just whatever I have available. And then I would just have one black powder adapter just to give me even more versatility. If you have all the pistol calibers plus the shotgun adapters and the black powder adapter, you're up there in the teens as far as what you can shoot out of your $150 single shot 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, as far as cleaning these, you clean them the same as any rifle with the brushes and the patches. Uh, there's no special care. I, I usually put a, a coat of thin oil like uh, a gun oil on the outsides just to keep corrosion down. If I'm not going to use it for a while, I run a, a oil patch down the barrel also just to keep corrosion to a, to a minimum because they are bare steel and touching them in your fingers, uh, the oil on your fingers will lead to corrosion. So might as well keep them nice. I do like the addition of the O-rings that were not on the older adapters. This keeps the adapter from moving too much in the chamber when you, when you break the barrel. Uh, it just keeps movement down. The old ones would move, especially the 8 inch would still move a few inches up and slide back into the chamber. It just, less stuff moving around. If I'm in low light, uh, the less chance of stuff falling out. Like these little adapters, less chance of these guys falling out them at a weird angle. Um, and then having to search for them, hopefully, to find it. Uh, hope you guys give shortly a try. I really like them. I plan on getting the rest of the series, in the bug out series, all the rest of the calibers. So. You guys have a good day. Hopefully you guys learned something and uh, I'll see you next time.